Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Gigabyte AORUS GC Wi-Fi 7 PCIe Wi-Fi card. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a Wi-Fi 7 Wi-Fi card, and the system I'm installing this on is running an AMD Ryzen 3300X. So a lot of the Wi-Fi 7 cards I found are only compatible with Intel. This one should be compatible with the AMD processor. And here we have some different specs and things on the back. You can pause and read through those. So let's get this open. So here we have the card. This has an antenna with a magnetic mount on it. This would be the USB power and the instructions. Let's take a quick look at these. Actually, this is just compliance things. Okay, let's pull the card out. So here we have the card. Let's pull the cable out and the antenna. Let me get a measurement on the cord here. So the wires are a little over 30 inches. So the magnetic portion of this is here. So let me get my PC over here. So this motherboard is an ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming 4. So I have an open slot down here. I'll pull the plate out. So I'll take the card and I'll plug it in. Now when this is in the position it gets screwed in, it's kind of pulling this out. So I'm just going to bend this forward just a little bit. Now I'll screw it in. Here we have the USB cord, and I'm guessing that's for Bluetooth, but I'll plug that in. Now that's keyed, so one of these pins is missing. So you want to make sure you put it in the proper way, and it has a little notch there. So I'll plug one of those in on the card, and then one on the USB on the motherboard. Okay, next I'll screw the antennas in. It shouldn't matter which one they go into. Okay, and now I can start this up and install the drivers. Okay, so I have the computer booted. I'm running Windows 11. I don't know how well this would work with Windows 10, but I'm going to open up a browser and I'll search for the driver. Now I currently have it plugged into Ethernet to install the driver. So I'll just type GC Wi-Fi 7 driver. I'll type AORS. Looks like we have the Gigabyte Download Center. So I'll enter the product number here. Okay, it came up, I'll hit Driver. So on this page, it has the driver for Windows 11, 64-bit, it's the only option here. And we have two downloads, one for the Bluetooth and one for the Wi-Fi. So I'll click both of those. I think that's everything on here. I'll go to my downloads and I'll install both of these. So I tried double clicking and running these, but I needed to extract them first and then run them. So it looks like they're both installed. I'll go down to my search here and I'll open up the device manager. And if I go to network adapters, we can see the Qualcomm Fast Connect 7800 Wi-Fi 7 adapter. So now I'll get my equipment set up so we can test this out on a Wi-Fi 7 access point. Okay, it's actually a couple months later. Time got away from me, but I have the PC here and I have the antenna on top of the PC so it's not behind, it's kind of out in the open. Now there's probably enough length on this. If this was on the floor, I could probably put this on a desktop. So I have this connected up to an Ingenius ECW520 Wi-Fi access point, and that was provided to me by Ingenius for a previous video. If you'd like to see a video on that access point, I'll put a link below to it. So I currently have a Wi-Fi 7 connection from the computer to the access point, and then from the access point to my speed test server, I have 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So this speed test here is mostly just testing my Wi-Fi speed. Now there could potentially be slowdowns on the ethernet, but that's very unlikely. And there could also be services running on the server, but this will give me a pretty good idea of the performance of this Wi-Fi card. So I'll hit start here. So we got around 2,500 down and about 2,250 up. So it looks like the limitation here might not even be the Wi-Fi. It might be the 2.5 gig ethernet that's attached to this. So I'd say that is incredibly good performance for Wi-Fi. So if you currently have gigabit ethernet in your computer, if you have a Wi-Fi 7 setup like I have here, this will give you better performance. So that's the AORS GC Wi-Fi 7 PCIe Wi-Fi card. So if you're looking for a Wi-Fi 7 card that gives great performance that's compatible with Ryzen processors, I think that's a great option. I like that it has a remote antenna here so you can get it away from the back of your computer. You can get better line of sight to your router. Now this also has Bluetooth 5.3, so you can use that to connect up speakers, keyboards, mice. Now you may not have super fast internet, but with a Wi-Fi card like this, this can give you fast access to servers. Now, if you do have like say gigabit ethernet, 
Using a card like this is going to ensure that the card is not the bottleneck in your connection to the internet. I found this relatively easy to set up. You just download the drivers and then it works. I've tried a number of different options to get Wi-Fi 7 on this Ryzen processor and I'm glad I finally found one that works. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.